What's up, everybody? Welcome to Hops LA Events on Tap, episode 38, covering all of the awesome things happening in LA beer this week. So we did it. We made it. LA Beer Week is finally over. <sighs> yes. And it was a doozy. The festivities get better each and every year. So many awesome breweries, so many great events, and so many delicious beers. Thanks to the Brewers Guild and everyone else who participated to put on such an amazing week. And thanks to all of you that came out, said what's up to us, bought some merch from our booth at the LA Beer Week kickoff, came to the collaboration beer release at Indie Brewing Company and Tony's Darts Away on Wednesday. Appreciate all of you guys. Thank you so much. So while we are winding down from LA Beer Week, that it is not stopping us from drinking beer during the show. Nope. Has to happen, gotta happen. So Gary, what are we drinking? So today we're drinking Sunbather from Angel City Brewery in downtown LA. So this is batch number three in their Sour Pale Ale series, this time using Mosaic Hops. Well, let's give it a whirl. Crowbars up. Mm. Out of all the Sunbathers I've had, this one's my favorite. Yeah, this one's really good. Uh, super tart, it's juicy. Uh, got a nice tropical flavor to it, and it's really refreshing. Yeah, at 4.2%, this is the perfect beer for a nice warm summer night like tonight. Yeah, look out for this one at the Angel City Tap Room or your local bottle shop. Try it out. Yep. All right, let's talk about the events coming up for this week. We're gonna kick things off with our featured event of the week. <laughs> Having on Saturday, June 30th, starting at 11 a.m., the Stocking Horse in West LA is launching their brewery. So the Stocking Horse has actually been open since last September, but they're ready to showcase the beers brewed on site and it should be a really good time. Yeah, they're doing $4 drafts and flights, uh, keep the glass, and also you'll be able to meet the brewers there. And let's talk a little bit about the beers. They've got a bunch of really cool British styles that you don't see all around town all too often. A couple light beers that'll get you started nice and refreshing. A pale ale if you're into something with a little bit more body, a little bit more flavor. A dark mild, a dry Irish stout, a robust porter and also an Irish red. So all of those sound great. I'm super excited to try the beers. You should be too. So head out to the Stocking Horse in West LA on Saturday and try them out. Also on Saturday, June 30th, starting at 12 p.m., it's the Festival Obscura having at Sunnyside Cemetery in Long Beach. This is a really cool, very unique craft beer festival happening in the middle of a cemetery. One of the oldest cemeteries in Long Beach. Yes. Not only that, but it's gonna feature some wineries, some cideries, uh, food trucks, of course, um, and an array of macabre themed art. So a little spooky, a little creepy, maybe, but very cool, very unique. Highly suggest you guys pick up tickets. And, and we have a promo code. Of course we do. Enter HopLA at checkout, get $5 off your tickets. Do it now. This is gonna be a good one. Yep. All right, now let's get into the previews, previews section. Previews, 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 previews. And hey, we got your July plan out for you guys. Every weekend accounted for. Boom. What are we starting with? So. First weekend of July on the 6th, going all through the weekend, Bravery Brewing in Lancaster is celebrating their sixth year anniversary. They're having a lot of festivities. They're releasing a special anniversary beer. They'll have some special beers on tap. Head out to Lancaster and celebrate with them. Then the next weekend, July 14th, Claremont Craft Dales is celebrating their sixth anniversary as well. And they're doing so with a really cool ticketed event. It's gonna feature over 60 beers from Claremont Craft Ales. <laughs> I didn't even know that they brewed that many beers. Wow, that's um, a lot of that's beer. That's pretty fantastic. Yep. Um, they're really blowing this one out. Should be a good time. Tickets are $40 for general admission or $65 for VIP. Those VIP tickets sound awesome. Um, you get a lot of cool perks, including VIP only pours and a four pack of their anniversary beer, a Brute IPA, which sounds fantastic. So check out Claremont Craft Ales, July 14th celebrate with them. Then on Saturday, July 22nd, going from 4 to 8 p.m., it's a DTLA Brewers United Fest version 4.0. This is an awesome festival. We've been to the last one. Just look at it. It's roll great. the tape, roll the tape. Mm -hmm. 
So the now eight downtown LA breweries are coming together in the parking lot right next to Angel City, pouring some of their best beer for you. This is a super intimate event and it's nice to see Highland Park Brewery welcome to the downtown LA group. So buy your tickets, they're 45 bucks, well worth it, and we'll probably see you there. Yeah. And then closing out the last weekend in July, that's July 28th, starting at 11 a.m., Firestone Walker, the propagator in Venice slash Marina Del Rey, is hosting Pills in Love for the West Coast. This is a awesome Pilsner beer festival featuring, what, 40 of the best Pilsners brewed by breweries around the world. So I love a good Pilsner, especially ones from overseas. They're all fantastic, and you can drink a lot of good ones at Firestone Walker the Propagator, Saturday, July 28th. Tickets are 60 bucks. A Pilsner Fest in the middle of summer? Are you kidding me? <laughs> so that does it for this episode of Events on Tap. We're gonna kill these beers and, what, go through a pretty massive detox. Detox time. Yeah, so with that said, drink indie. And drink local. <laughs>